Chicken. We realized he shouldn't have done it. place costs, Nigel. Um, from what I've heard is that Milton's been raising money on GoFundMe and they've put it, like some thousands of dollars into it. Really? They've yeah, already man. spent two thousand dollars making it already. Two thousand? Two thousand. Concrete's expensive, dude. Yeah, yeah it is. And all the time and energy too. And wood. Lumber prices are so high right now. Oh yeah. They're so costs. high right now. So high. Wood, concrete, metal, all of it's so expensive right now. So they've been putting work into it. Take your tray over.
Why don't you get warmed up, dude? Look at that sick shirt. You're ugly. Is that you're trying to? Finally, you fucking fell. I wanted to stop recording. Uh, Zach, this is your proper shout out. Everyone watching this, this is Zach's shout out. Go to his YouTube channel. The more people that subscribe to his YouTube channel, the more he will film me. And that means the more content you will get. So that, do me a solid favor and subscribe to his channel. That can get be found. Out. That can be found at YouTube slash Dan Corrigan. That's his YouTube. Check it out. I like him fighting over his shout out when he's only getting like 20k views right now. Worst dude. <laughs> Wow. Don't even try it. Oh! How stoked are you on that half cap truck? I didn't do one yesterday. We were at uh, Mayberry yesterday skating that little edge and you couldn't half cap crook the little edge. Did you touch? He's literally doing one down versions of the tricks that did on my channel. I hope you fucking fall right now. Haha, uh -huh, you that stupid like bitch. Do a push up. He still landed it too. You stay in your fucking lane, thank Dude, you. Dude, get your channel out of this channel. I hate to break it to you, but my channel is your channel. Meta channel. I mean, yeah, your channel is my channel, you're right. I started your channel. <laughs> and I can I brought your channel into this world, I can take it out. Yeah. Oh look at who it is. I literally just said that. Get off my intro. <laughs> you're in my channel now, dude. Oh my God! I'm trying to find Dale's YouTube channel because I don't really use YouTube. Uh, I guess I use YouTube, but I don't search for people's channels often. Okay. So I'm typing Dale Doe Decker poop. <laughs> that should find you. All right. And here's here's what I'm finding. How positivity can be toxic, and someone left an uh, upper decker gross. <laughs> and their toilet is actually really gross. What's an upper decker? When upper you poop in the top you... of the toilet.
Dude, oh I'm having God. the best day. You're a fucking idiot. It looks like he drives like some old ass Chevy pickup truck or something. He might. Look at him. Dude, that's sick. Like, I look like I'm from Ohio. Yes, you do. Aren't you literally from Ohio? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, I look like that. That or Oklahoma. Oh, dude, don't fucking insult me like that. Um. That was such an Oklahoma kickflip, it's not even funny. Dude, you're Literal a Tulsa. Alright. Hey. Mark! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Baker maker. Oh my god. Dude, that gym is fucking paying off, dude. <laughs> like, you know guys that post gym selfies? I like you? the equivalent of that, but like while I'm skating. Shark bite. What? Rocket. That was good. So I want to talk about the difference between these two style of skate parks, right? So one costing about $2,000 and the other costing roughly around $200,000. The difference in these skate parks is one is a DIY, one is an actual skate park built by the city. So the skaters built 
the DIY park themselves. They put their own money down, they put in their own labor, and they come together and build things themselves. While the other park is built by the city and everything's done uh, properly with proper, um, how do you say? Everything's done with proper equipment and proper zoning and all that kind of stuff that goes into creating a public space. So the big difference here isn't necessarily that one is better than the other. Yes, you can have your preference at which one you prefer, but they serve different purposes. That's the key difference here. A DIY skate park is usually built when a skate park doesn't already exist in the area. And you will see DIY parks that do exist in areas that also have skate parks. And you might be thinking, why do people do this? Well, because a DIY park adds an element of creativity and expression that a normal regular skate park built by the city does not. You can't film for a street part at a regular skate park. Well, I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want, but Thrasher's not gonna run that and neither is any other board company. That's not gonna be acceptable, right? And the reason being is because a skate park is more of a training facility place where you can practice your tricks and take them to the streets. It doesn't look, in my opinion, and I think a lot of other people agree with this, it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing when you put a trick from a skate park in a video part mixed with a bunch of street footage. A DIY skate park, on the other hand, uh, people will film video part tricks at these places. Burnside being the biggest example, right? Burnside is a DIY skate park that is built in Portland and is built under the Burnside Bridge. The city actually wanted to take that park out, but they couldn't remove it because it's literally attached to the bridge and it will damage the bridge. And you see people film tricks there for their video parts all the time, along with other several DIY parks across the country and world. The reason that this is acceptable is because it has a different aesthetic to it. And it also has this element of grit to it. The the ramps and the obstacles are not made perfectly. Therefore, you can get away with the street element of not being made to skate, even though it's made to skate, but it has that element of grit to it still, even though it was built to skate. It's my opinion too that, you know, a lot of the anti-establishment, anti-authority philosophy that goes in with skating kind of goes along this idea of not being able to film at skate parks, but you can film here at a skate park that we built ourselves and kind of did this in an improper fashion. I support it. I'm not against I'm not against this idea at all. And personally, I think it's much more tasteful seeing footage at a DIY park than it is seeing footage at a traditional public skate park. So to summarize two key differences, DIY skate park built by skaters has elements of grit and elements of creativity and expression that a normal public skate park doesn't. And the public skate park is typically used as a training facility-esque type of place. This being a place where you can practice your tricks and take them to the streets. I also wanna to mention too, the sizing of obstacles at skate parks, whether it be like a handrail or a ledge or just the way that it's made and placed, um, like the placement of the obstacles at a skate park, it's all to accommodate the skater. It's all to make it easier so that you can do the trick. That doesn't happen in the streets because literally nothing is made to skate, right? So there isn't an equal translation between the two. Yes, you can practice your tricks at a normal skate park, but um, it only translates so much. So you still have to accommodate for the fact that these things aren't made to skate. There you have it, that's the difference between these two. Um, I don't usually pop up in the videos and discuss things like this, but I think I might start doing this depending on how this is received. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to end this.